And happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to your latest Monday mortgage market and real estate update. And Nicole, so great for you to join me again. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good weekend. I did. I did. Thank you. We celebrated our 24th anniversary this weekend. Oh, oh congratulations. What a milestone. Hey, next year is 25. So you better plan a big trip or something. <laughs> I know it. I don't know. He did pretty well for 24. It's going to be hard to top. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, let's dive into some numbers real quick. So purchase demand, gosh, those buyers are getting out there. Purchase demand is up 21% from a year ago. These, yes. all the buyers are now just not loving their current homes. They're living in, they're getting out there. And, and, you know, sellers are responding. New listings are up 56%. And pending home sales are now up over 100% at 116%. So those buyers are getting out there and they're closing on homes. I mean, I've been so busy. I'm sure you and your team have just been off the charts busy, right? And we really have. The demand is absolutely out there. Those lower price homes are going quickly. If stage right, if, if in the right location, price right, they're moving very fast. Um, of course, we've got you know the attached condos, the over a million. We've got some inventory in those price points. Uh, and that that product type, but man, oh man, the product is moving fast. If anything, we need more inventory. So if you're a seller and you're listening to this, this is the time to put your house on the market because there's a huge demand for it. Absolutely, I myself just put uh, two homes under two of my listings under contract this weekend. They were both over a five hundred thousand dollar price point, but still within I think my Longmont listing went on the market Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Yeah. Under contract this weekend, I had a, a property almost 600000 in Denver, uh, was on the market a week ago, went, on, went under contract this weekend. So just those buyers are getting out there, which is great because you know what, They're, those are move up buyers, they're getting ready to, you know, maybe sell those condos and sell those, you know, smaller townhomes and moving up. So with that said, though, they have more buying power at this time because these historic rates are low, but they're kind of hovering right now, right? They are. So we've, you know, we continue to break, if you will, trends. We have the historically low interest rates um, and they are kind of in this very narrow channel. You know, when I say that historically low, it'll bounce from 3.2 to 3.18 to 3.16. So it's like right there. It's a super, but I would say that historically low interest rates giving you the ability to afford 10% more home than you could even just a year ago based on the, the interest rates trending down. So can we expect lower interest rates? I don't know. You know, everybody's talking about how low can they go. And I know the Federal Reserve wants to keep them low. In fact, they want to keep them low through till 2022. Now there's some opposing um, market demands that might make the interest rates go higher because when the economy regains its footing, as we know, as economies get stronger, interest rates go up. And there's some other things going on behind the scenes with FHFA and FHA that might cause the interest rates to go up. But the Federal Reserve Board has come out saying that they will do everything in their power to buy enough mortgage-backed securities to keep those rates low. So if you're looking at getting in, especially as you mentioned, if you're a move-up buyer that you're selling a $400,000, $500,000, $600,000 home and you want to buy a $1.5 million home or even anything over a million, wow, now, right now might be the perfect time. And the fact that you can stretch those dollars further with these low interest rates. Absolutely. And stretching those dollars is key because you know, you want to get those move up buyers into that, you know, bigger home, because like we've talked about before, we do, we're seeing those buyers out there that are needing the two offices now that a lot of jobs are transitioning to maybe fully working at home or, you know, maybe, maybe they're having another baby or something like that. So maybe they need more room for more kids coming in. So, you know, with that said, uh, we were just talking about, you know, we're in this new stage of COVID now, you know, we're, we are, we have done so well at wearing the masks and keeping our social distancing that we're on a now protect your neighbor order for some counties in Colorado, right? Yeah. So Governor Polis announced this, um, gosh, was, was that a week ago? And he mm -hmm. said that here in the next couple of days, so I think it was the 18th now that some counties could apply for it. So not all counties can get right in right away. He's expecting it to be small. And then after July 4th, he's expecting more counties to move into the protect your neighbor and the protect your neighbor. Colorado's doing really good um, fighting against the effects of COVID. It is obviously it's a far way from being over, over, but um, every step we take in the right direction feels good. It just does. And, and so now that we're moving into the protect your neighbor, yeah, he had said, and, and I just gleaned onto this because I was so excited that we could see groups as large as 500 
gathering and up to 50% of pre-COVID occupancy when it came to events or venues or that kind of concerts, bars. Absolutely. So we better start planning our parties, right, Nicole? <laughs> time. It might be time. Well, and, you know, I'm getting my ticket to the state fair. <laughs> absolutely. And, and speaking of that happy summer, we're now in officially in the summer season. I know this is one of your favorite seasons because you love being outdoors. How many bike rides have you gone on so far? Oh my gosh. Every week. Every week. <laughs> yes. If I can go to it in the week too, I will because now it's staying light so late. Yes, Love we that. just had our longest day of the year. I think that was Saturday. So yes. I think we had about 14 plus hours of sunlight, almost even 15. Um, what, where is your favorite place to go biking? Oh gosh, I, you know, I live right by the U, so I can jump on so many trails right around. And I just got, I have three kids, um, you know, 22, 2019. I just got my 20 year old, his own bike. Uh, so now we're going to start taking bike rides together and that, you know, I don't care where we go. As long as we go together, that's going to be pretty cool. Absolutely. I just went back to the gym for the first time this morning and did a cycle class. So whew, I think my lungs are a little hurting right now, but hey, you got to get back in it. <laughs> Walking a little stiff. Uh, Walking so a little stiff, but that's okay. Cause you know what? It's time. It's time. We're on the protect your neighbor order, you know, for some of the counties here and gyms are opening back up or bars and restaurants are opening back up. It's time to start easing our way back into uh, pre COVID times. Well, Nicole, thank you so much for joining me again. I look forward to speaking with you again here soon. And Hey, if anyone needs any help with mortgage refinancing, or maybe just talking to Nicole about their mortgage um, rates and what's going on in the mortgage business, you can give her a call at 303-214-6393. And I'll have that information below. And if you have any questions about the real estate market, give me a call 720-878-6236. Thanks so much, Nicole. We'll see you next time. Oh, you bet. Mary Beth, always a pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.